Good afternoon, traders. It, it is Friday, June 14th, 2019, and the U.S. stock market is closed. Hey, Friday didn't disappoint us. <laughs> it was another funky Friday. Uh, we didn't get burned too badly today, however, so I'm not going to complain too much. Uh, we came in with nine positions today, and uh, we got out of those closed out with positive $5,000. That's not spectacular, but it sure beats losing a significant amount, so I won't complain. You can see here what happened to Dow. We, I'm just chart is pulled back a little. This is the the big run-up we had right at the beginning of the month. And we're into about six days of this flat sideways action. And whenever that happens, you know, we're, we're getting close. To, it's it's going to break one way or another. Um... Here's the deal. We we got into nine positions today. Four are positive, five are negative, and we're actually carrying negative um, $3,400 over the weekend. I would normally be a little bit nervous at that, but I'll tell you something about these nine positions. Six of those positions are actually short positions. That is... Yeah, we're long the stock, but they're they're inverse stocks. In other words, they're going to move up if the overall market goes down. Most of them are energy, but not everyone is an energy. Um, so uh, here's the deal: we if if you're looking at the Dow as representing the overall market, the overall market takes off on Monday, we're going to get slammed pretty bad with uh, all those short positions. But the market goes lower, uh, particularly significantly lower, uh, we're probably not going to see any negative uh, equity there, and we actually could see quite a bit of profits. I, I'm looking at this chart, and even though we're holding negative equity over the weekend, you know, I'd rather be short than long right now. This looks to me like this uh, upside move has lost some steam, and it's going to correct a little. I don't mean that, you know, the stocks are going to reverse, but if I were a betting man right now looking at this chart, I'd say there's a better chance this thing's going to open lower on Monday than lower than on high uh, than higher. But of course, you know the stock market; anything could happen, and uh, we could get any kind of news over the weekend that might push this one way or another. But I'm not too uncomfortable with these six short positions right now. So uh, I'm hopeful that we will get a lower opening on Monday. We'll just have to see. Got a couple stocks to show you. I show you the uh, kind of uh, frustrating one today. Uh, this is uh, JNUG, which is a gold mine bull. And by the way, I had this stock thrown out of the portfolio. Uh, but I, I actually ended up putting it back in, uh, right after the first day of the month or so, because I felt it was still pretty good. And of course, after I put it back in, it's had a couple bad trades. Um, we, we bought JNUG yesterday with about two or three hours to go. And then it popped up very nicely 
this morning did come back for our exit, but we still took um, 1700 dollars out of that trade. So that, that's a nice little trade there. Uh, what I didn't like though is after it got us out, it turns around, starts moving up again, we get re-entered here. And it's looked okay for about an hour and a half. And then look what it did here. It just like kind of fell apart. Then had a little bounce at the end. So the net result is we're negative $2,400 in open trade on JNUG. After having made 1700 earlier in the day, now we're down 2400 um, that's not a good way to make money trading but that's what happened it's just a little frustrating God knows what it's going to do on Monday we'll just have to wait and see uh, I will show you the best trade we had and <clears throat> this actually kept us buoyant today it would have been pretty bad if we hadn't had this one um, this is uh, CM or CVM um, Cell Sci Corporation. I've showed you this several times. But we bought this uh, second hour yesterday. It closed very nicely, and then it popped up this morning very nicely. Which we could have gotten out right on the open. We did not. It did come back a little bit there, but still. It's higher than where it closed yesterday, and we took six thousand three hundred dollars out of um, Cell Sci Corporation, and we didn't re-enter it. So we nailed down uh, six thousand three hundred dollars in profits, and that was really nice. Anyway, that's the way it went on Funky Friday. Uh, you guys have a fantastic weekend, and I will be back here on Monday trading as usual.